In the first videos in this stream, we created this object by importing it from a CSV. Then we refined it by adding sections. What this video we want to do is to edit some of the specific fields. And a good one to look at, significance description, the significance of the change. And if we look back out, and we look at significance, there's a, a significance description here that we can say what we want to do is to make sure that we're capturing this information. So I'm going to go on ahead and highlight it. So I'm going to select and copy this description. Then I can come back and what I'm doing is going out to, let's see, let me just do it for you. So edit object. And if we edit the object, we come to here. We're brought to the object manager for outcome harvesting. We're going to go into Fields and Relationships. We're going to look at Significance Description. Currently, this is a 255 character text field. So I'm going to open it up. And there are things here that we can change. First thing I'm going to do is add that help text that we just copied out. I'm going to say that. Could add a description here. I can actually just add the same information. It doesn't really hurt. Now we could say here is there's information around who we would want to own this data. We can talk about field usage. This is a little bit complicated, so for now let's not worry too much about it except to know that there are ways to be able to manage fields to highlight them after you if you review them. Uh, data sensitivity, same kind of issues. There's ways of being able to manage how private this information is, which could be very relevant from an outcome harvesting perspective, and whether or not there's compliance. Uh, or needs to be compliance. Uh, we can also mark it as required. So if we needed every record to include information about the significance description, we could mark it as required and the record couldn't be saved until that information has been added. We can also change the text length. So let's say we want to make this 400 characters. So I'm going to say let's save this. And it says, oops, there's an error. You can only save it to 255. OK, so that doesn't really help me. So I'm going to save it as 255. And then I'm going to say, OK, I actually want to make it longer than 255. So I'm going to click Edit here. And this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the field type. And now we're going to make it a text well, a text area means you could enter them on separate lines. So that would give us a larger window to be typing into. So what I need to do is to add a long text area field. And so I'm going to say next. And it says I'm using 0 of 1638 characters. So I'm going to just say 400. I don't need to be too greedy. And visible lines. This is how large is the window. So let's just make it 3. I'm going to keep all that the same. Uh, the default value is going to be fine. So I'm going to say save now. If I do another quick find, what I'm now seeing is it's 400 characters because that gives me more space. So let's look back at our record and see how that change looks at this point. So I'm going to do a refresh because this that's the way to see what the change, how it's been affected. Scrolling down, I can see we now have an information field here. And it is that same text that we put in, which is, why is this change important? What you can also see up here, I added one. You could see we could, this is over 150 characters. So these can be quite long in terms of the summary and support information. So now when I enter it, and I'm going to go in here and say, let's enter here, I have three lines of text. So as a test, I added additional information. And what you can see is it's showing the three lines here. Uh, but I also have this option to be able to expand it so I can see that that's 400 characters. So the question is, is that enough text? Or do I need to make it 5, 6, 800? How much information is needed? But that allows me the chance to do that. Clicking Save. The good news about the sections is that we can close sections. So our object is looking better, but there's still more we can do.